Traditional farming has changed little in the rural Cajamarca region over centuries. Presidential candidate Pedro Castillo was taught how to plow with bulls by his father growing up in poverty in these mountains. The primary school teacher who entered politics as a union leader says he represents rural Peruvians because, he says, the state has forgotten them. This presidential campaign is the result of the anise which we feel about being called third class or fourth class citizens. I believe that as we reach Peru's bicentenary, they have made us believe that this is a true democracy, but it is not. Much of the 51-year-old candidate's support comes from his focus on the stark inequalities between rural and urban Peru. People don't know that my students sleep in their classrooms. They don't know that there are thousands of children with tuberculosis, thousands with lead in their blood, thousands living in poverty, and now, due to the pandemic, in extreme poverty. We will not stop fighting until we ensure that the Peruvian people can live with dignity. In this part of the country, his support is strong. It was an emotional moment for us to have a son of the village leading the votes as a candidate. We trust that he will be the one who will govern us. For Castillo's family, it has been a time of mixed emotions. His children miss him, but say they are proud and believe he can win. He's popular because he's humble and straightforward and can talk to anyone. Taking a break before resuming his campaign, Castillo works on his farm with his youngest daughter, Alondra. His life in this remote hamlet is a far cry from the pressures and demands of a life in politics. This is the home of the man who could be Peru's next president. School teacher Pedro Castillo grew up and continues to live here in the green mountains of Cajamarca. But if things go his way in the coming weeks and months, he could be moving to a new address in Lima's presidential palace. <laughs> Meanwhile, 45-year-old Keiko Fujimori, the other candidate advancing to the second round, has already lived in the presidential home. Her father, Alberto Fujimori, was president of Peru during the 1990s, but was jailed in 2009 for human rights abuses and corruption. Supporters of her father credit him with defeating leftist guerrillas. Keiko Fujimori, who is running as a right-wing populist, accuses her rival of digging up a painful past. He talks about class struggle. He talks about dividing Peruvians between rich and poor, between workers and masters. And that kind of division does much damage to our country. I call on him to ensure that the campaigns on both sides should be about ideas and not divisions. Fujimori advanced to the second round despite facing serious corruption allegations of her own which she dismisses as politically motivated. She has already spent 13 months in pretrial detention. In a fragmented and polarized first round election, fewer than a third of Peruvians voted for either candidate. Both will be looking to make deals with losing parties in order to win enough votes to be first across the finish line in June. Dan Collins, CGTN in Chugur, Peru.